In 2019, we replaced our grass lawn with a California native garden. A native garden is a fantastic way to increase butterfly and bird visitors to a landscape. And native plants themselves are beautiful and adapted to the seasonal rainfall patterns of California. We know planting a garden that's also a restoration can be intimidating. Our hope with this video is to describe the process that took our Los Angeles yard from a single crop of grass to over 40 species of native plants. There are four key phases in the creation of a native garden. Planning, prepping, planting, and growing. We spent one year observing the yard. We stopped watering the grass, which led to weeds everywhere. Nearly all were non-native invasive species. We used the app Sunseeker to figure out sun paths in the summer and winter. It turns out the east side of the house was a lot drier than the west side. This became important when we made plant selections because microclimates on a single property can have big effects on the plants. This small piece of land, before farming and then urbanization, was once a mix of chaparral and riparian habitat. We recommend calscape.org for detailed information on native plant species by zip code. We chose to stick with plants highly local to our specific area. We watched where the rain naturally collected on the property because we wanted to collect rainwater and also direct it away from the house foundation. Next, we had to plan the garden. We made up an irrigation plan. Each zone corresponds to an area with plants that have similar water needs. We decided on moisture zones before selecting plants. At this point, we applied to the Lawn Removal Rebate Program through the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. We recommend you go to the website of your local water district to see if there is a turf removal program in your area. Here's our stormwater retention plan. As you can see, it's not very sophisticated, but it got our application approved. We couldn't have done this garden without the lawn rebate program. It paid for the plants, rain barrels, mulch, and irrigation. Prepping should really be called what it is, hard work. We had concrete removed and saved the big pieces for stepping stones. The old fencing we turned into mounted trellis for California wild grape. We pulled the grass out, which by the way had a root system that was still very much alive just under the surface. Contouring the land mostly consisted of digging wide trenches for rainwater collection. This is when we installed PVC pipe for the five irrigation zones. We installed gray water pipes from our showers and laundry. The gray water feeds a riparian area in the garden, including willows and fruit trees. According to LA guidelines, we installed a valve on the gray water system so the water can be diverted to the sewer if needed. Finally, we installed rainwater permeable hardscape in our patio area. Now came really the best part of the whole process. We sourced plants from Hahamunga Native Plant Nursery, Theodore Payne Native Nursery, and Rancho Santa Ana Grow Native Nursery. We let the plants acclimate to our site for several days. On planting days, we filled each hole with water and let the water infiltrate the soil before setting the plants in the ground. We did not use any fertilizer or soil amendments as instructed by the nurseries. We built a berm around each shrub and hand watered the plants until we installed drip lines. We weaved the drip irrigation through the plants, placing a single emitter at each shrub. We put a double ring of emitters around the base of each tree. Once the drip lines were in place, we knocked down the berms since they were only needed while we were hand watering. We used Douglas fir chips for our mulch. In some areas, we had a severe Bermuda grass infestation. Here, we laid down cardboard first to suppress the grass. We were quite discouraged by the brown carpet of mulch across our yard at first. However, we found that the mulch kept non-native weeds from coming back and kept the ground cool in the summer. In some areas, we spaced the plants too closely together. The shrubs crowded each other and struggled for space as they grew. We planted over 40 native species. Out of a total of 150 plants and trees, we lost about 15. We watered the plants through their first summer and fall, but once the winter rains came, we stopped the irrigation. We emptied the rain barrels after each of several storms into the bioswales, which were built to capture stormwater runoff. 
All the rest was nature doing her thing. We hope you enjoyed watching our journey from non-native grass lawn to California native landscape. At the time of this video, the garden is a year old. We went through planning, prepping, and planting, and now the garden is growing. This was our first attempt at a native garden. There are many resources created by scientists, naturalists, gardeners, and city officials to help anyone transform their landscape into an extension of the California native ecosystem.